All right, guys, Christmas is over, which means we gotta get back to work on the Civic. So I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas with their family, got every car part they wanted. Now it's time for you guys to get back to work, get to wrenching on your project. Get in the garage and get those parts on. But today, we're gonna jump right back into it. So, as you guys know, we left off mocking up the S13 subframe in our Honda Civic. And of course, it wasn't as easy as we thought. It's not gonna be as easy as making some pedestals and bolting it in. We actually have to modify the Civic frame pretty heavily. So like I showed in the last video, we have some of our suspension components right here that literally go right into the frame rail, which means we have to cut out this whole section of frame rail and make a new rail that goes above it and out of the way. So the other day I came down here and banged out a new frame rail. I'm really, I'm really pumped on this piece. So what we're gonna do is weld this new section of rail in, reinforce all of it before we even cut the hole for the suspension piece so we don't have to worry about any issues with the chassis actually just forming or sagging or whatever. So check this piece out. So this piece fits like a glove, love it. So we're gonna cut this up, trim it down, reinforce it, and that's gonna become our new frame rail. This thing is gonna be strong as heck. I am not worried about it. Like I said before, Brian is a full-time frame tech, so he knows the instructional integrity of a unibody car better than anyone else I can imagine. So we're gonna make sure this thing is solid. And of course, I wanna do it right the first time because I wanna rage on this thing and not worry about it. So I still need to make another one of those for the other side. Cut them down, trim them up, weld them in place, reinforce them, do everything, then notch the frame and just get as much work as we can done on the Civic today because the rear end, it's probably the most difficult process to all of this. So, so I ordered a bunch of parts for this car today because once the rear end's done and we get the trans tunnel done, it should be pretty quick. Getting this thing to run in that car should be fairly easy and I'm just dying to drive the thing. So let's shut up, grab the angle grinder, grab a tape measure and get to work. What do you think, B-Hall? Dude, this is exactly what we talked about. I'm impressed. Not bad, right? Me, uh, you sent me some pictures the other day, and I was like, dude, that's exactly what we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> really happy with these. All right, so these came out great. All right, so what's the game plan here, Mr. Frame Tech? Uh, the game plan is to get prepared to get those in place. So we gotta get this subframe back out of the way. We got uh, some cleanup work to do. Oh yeah, we gotta cut the bracket off there in there and then prep the surface to weld these blocks of steel right into the chassis. Sound about right? Sounds exactly right. Dang, look at that thing. Ready for this? Buttery. Look at that frame rail. That's nothing, dude. <laughs> dude, come on, man. This is some quality high frame steel. But that thing looks like a Coke can. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing right now? I'm trimming back the floor a little bit. I need that spot. No, I figured, uh... No, there's, gonna... a, there's a nice, beefy piece of uh, frame rail right under here. So... You don't want to weld the floorboard. So we're going to pull this off so we can plate this rail to the under rail. Yeah, make it come down, have it have, you know, a somewhat natural looking angle so it just doesn't look like a Lego block we glued to the top of the frame rail. <laughs> <laughs> it looks kind of cool from this angle. People are going to be like, why don't you just make a whole, whole new frame rail in the rear? Because uh, we don't have to, because we can do this instead. Let's yeah, there's really no point in like tubing this whole car. If we're going to tube the rear, we might as well just build a tube chassis car, and then we might as well put a fiberglass body on top of it and call it Roma. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> just like any project, you could go way over the top so easily. It's all about managing it, right, B? It's all about managing it. That's right, or else you end up like me and have like six projects stuck in your garage unfinished. <laughs> Manage your projects, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Here we 
go. Oh, that. Oh, nice work. You see that beefy ass arch right there? There you go, boys. That's integrity. Structural integrity. Uh, we're gonna have to give this one a little. Ah, there we go. That's it. Beautiful. All right. Uh, I think we got an idea of what we're gonna do back here. So let's just go ahead and do one side and then match the other side. I'm cool with that. You got a marker? Nope. Yeah, this is a good, a good old eyeball here. Yep, that looks nice. Let me cut it. Yep, got it. I hit it with the bend and weld, capped it off. It looks great. It doesn't look so tacky anymore. And look how it sits. <clears throat> yep. I'm so I'm so hyped on this piece. This Just is it's fine. So now we uh, have to attach this to the existing rail in the most strong manner we can find. <laughs> Fuck it, let's just let's just start welding, man. Come on. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Do the honors. <laughs> All right, so B got it all tacked in place, and I'm really, really happy with how this thing looks. It hugs the strut tower super well, so we have enough to lay a bead there. And then the inside, we can actually lay a couple plug welds. Goes to the floorboard real nice, goes to the seam of the rail. We're gonna cut this lip off, weld it up, plate the side of it. It's going pretty good. Dude, I'm excited. Our, our frame rail extension's not looking so uh, home built. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cause like, like we were saying before, you could, you could just tube into all that. I kind of wanted to like almost integrate in a very seamless way. Like the front frame rails, they don't really stick out. And I like that. Like you don't look at it and you're like, oh wow, that's a whole custom piece, you know? I mean, yeah, obviously, but. Even uh, it's like, unless you lean into the engine bay, you don't yeah. even see it. Exactly. So that's what I, I want to aim for. I want this to like integrate very seamlessly where you almost are just like, Huh? You know what I mean? Like, I don't want it to look like it's a Civic shell mangled around a 240 base. Yeah, I mean, I'll, some of you guys get it. Like, the plan is to put the back seats back in. Whether or not anyone sits there is another mm -hmm. thing, but, like, it should look like a Civic. Well, the rear end's going to take us a little bit. Even though it might look like quick steps on the camera, we're doing a lot of stuff off camera just to get things prepped and ready to go. So, once we bang through the rear end, it's going to be a speed run, and I'm excited for it, so. Yeah. Exactly, once the subframe is mounted and then quickly we'll throw in a, a trans cross member mm -hmm. and then it's gonna be just bing, bang, boom, putting it together. B's gotta head out now, he's got some things he gotta handle. So I'm gonna sit here, uh, trim, weld up the rest of it, make a plate for the front of it and just keep getting to work. Heck yeah, I'm excited. I, uh, I look forward to the progress pictures. Keep me updated. Uh, this is such a tight fit. So I'm gonna cut the lip off the frame rail right here, if you guys could see. And then we're gonna weld it straight to the side of the rail so it's nice and flush. All right, now you guys can see the new frame rail is flush with the old rail. So we're gonna weld this whole thing together. Then later on, we're gonna plate the sides right here. And then we're gonna take the notch right out of here, of course. And then we'll have basically a new C channel section of frame rail. things I want to do is this open end right here though you'll probably never see it I want to plate this off uh, not only for some extra strength but to just seal it up and make it look nice so of course take the cardboard put it in there trace it cut it out in metal and then weld it in <laughs> while I was on the camera charge I made the templates they fit great Bry showed up out of nowhere he's welding them in and it looks so sick with it all as one piece What up, guy? What up, I'm back. Yo, look how sick this looks. There's like one whole ass rail. Yup, now we have a rail extension thingamabobber. This is the worst part. Once this is all done, we're, we're, we're good. <laughs> I'm so tired. We still have to mount this up. We haven't even got, this is, this is just so we can make clearance for one arm. Stupid. That's, that's it. 
This is gonna be several days. That all wheel that all wheel drive Civic Grand is starting to look pretty good right now. <laughs> Damn, how am I supposed to? <laughs> so we're about well, I'm zoomed in. Is it? Mm, so we're about seventy percent done with one frame rail. So I'm gonna try and finish up most of the other one off camera and everything, and probably play to off camera too. Something interesting, of, of course. I'll show you guys the full results on that. Um, to change it up a little bit, we have a fun surprise for the next video. I actually got a new something something for the cherry hatch, and uh, Nissan Part sent us a mystery package that I'm dying to open, and we've been putting it off for a couple days now. So we'll uh, we'll do that while I finish up the stupid frame rails in the back. That sound good? That sounds like an awesome plan, man. I guess. So Brian showed me how to prep it for the driver's side one so I'll probably bang out the passenger side one get over with and then we'll notch it and everything's gonna be great because the hardware um, for the rear stuff firm doesn't even come in until Monday so we're gonna have to hold off on that anyways for mounting it so yeah hopefully parts start showing up pretty quickly and uh, we can really start making some progress on other parts of the car too so it all comes together pretty quick yeah so we need some parts because we gotta get something to get you excited yeah all the front end suspension parts should be showing up for the thing really soon, and I cannot wait to see 240SX suspension on the front of this car. That's pretty freaking dope, so. I think it's just gonna be funny to look at. It's, it's gonna be so funny, <laughs> so. Um, I don't even know if this video is long enough. I don't even know if this video is interesting, but it's part of the process. It's a pain in the ass, but we're gonna get through it. And I still don't regret using a 240SX rear end because we're saving a crap ton of money, learning a lot. We're having so much fun. And in the end, it's probably going to feel a lot better sliding this car around with a 240SX rear end versus using some like modified CRV or Waggo van thing. So I'm going to end it here. It's super late. We're both super tired. And uh, thank you guys for watching and hear hearing me ramble on for the last 10 minutes. So you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And B, do the honors. Have a great night, and we'll see you soon. Peace.